These are historic days for Scotland and the United Kingdom. The aim of uh, the, today's event is to thrash out some of the issues at the heart of the current political and economic debate in Scotland. ICAS, as you would probably expect, has taken a non-political stance on the issue of independence, but we have worked to ensure that voters have the information they need to make an informed decision when the referendum takes place next September. There are as many opinions as there are people in Scotland, but luckily ICAS has put together some people that are perhaps brighter than the rest on both sides of the fence and on neither side of the fence. Sitting in the fence, not really interested in the fence. The point is that you're going to hear a range of opinion this morning and I think that's going to be really very, very stimulating. The currency seems to be at the core of a lot of the debate. Uh, I found that very interesting that on currency it hinges a lot of the rest of the debate behind what happens. It seems to me absolutely fundamental this to uh, the future of our country is what currency would we be using post-independence? It's absolutely critical to us, as you all know. They simply cannot guarantee that there would be a currency union enabling us to keep the pound. The whole point of independence is not that we do things the same. It's that we get the powers to do things differently and that we use these powers, for example, to create a competitive business tax environment to grow our economy faster and raise more revenue. The future isn't fixed. We can shape it, but we can only do so if we give ourselves the powers to do so. It's useful to start, I think, with a look at the historical perspective, and, and we've actually been polling on this for sort of 35 years uh, or more. I think what that highlights is the challenge um, that nationalists, those supporting independence, actually have. Well, I think because of the venue and because of the host, ICAS, uh, there was a, at last a, a good uh, tilt towards the, the more financial and number-based analysis, and I think some of the guest speakers were very useful. It was, a, it was a fantastic opportunity for 200 or more people who perhaps have not spent as much time thinking about the issues, to really have a, a focused time concentrating their minds and, and being able to develop their own thinking as to how they, how they think this should play out. I thought it was really informative. I think it was very balanced. Um, I liked the way we had the, um, the education from the professional experts in the first case, and then we heard from politicians. I think that was in the right order. Many thanks to ICAS for uh, putting this on today and uh, hopefully we'll see more in the run-up to the, uh, the, the independence election.